Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today's April 5th, and that means day 95 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we're gonna print out something very practical, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 95 of the 3DP 365 project. If you want to know more about the project, check out the description below. There's a facts section down at the bottom that will give you all the details. And don't forget to use that Matter Hackers affiliate link down in the description. If you're in the market for a new printer, printer parts, or if you just need some filament, using that Matter Hackers affiliate link will kick a little bit back to the channel. It doesn't cost you a penny and we really appreciate it. But for today's episode, we're going to print out something very practical. My wife was looking for something to hold her nail polish bottles while she did her nails. And while browsing around on Thingiverse, I found the perfect model to print. So let's head over to Thingiverse and I'll show you what we've decided to print for today. Then we'll tab over to Simplify 3D and I'll show you my settings for the print. Then we'll meet back here at the workbench and we'll talk about the print. Okay folks, so here we are at Thingiverse for today's print. And today we are printing out the polish bottle with brush holder by XSYT. And I'll put the link down in the description so you can download and print this yourself. And as you can see, this is a very practical print. This is perfect for my wife's little nail polish bottles, so she has something to hold them in. And we could probably also use this for uh, prop building and to hold our little paint bottles too, so I might print another one. But either way, let's tap over to Simplify 3D and I'll show you my settings for the print. Okay folks, so here we are in Simplify 3D and I've dropped the model down on the print bed at 100%. We're gonna print this at original size and let me show you my process settings. Under layer height, we did our standard 0.2 millimeter layer height with three top and three bottom layers and three perimeters. We also ran a brim by entering zero in the skirt offset at four outlines. For infill, I used 20% just to make sure my top layers were nice and smooth. And under support, we have that completely turned off. Under temperature, this is Matter Hackers Pro PLA, so I'm using a single temperature throughout, and that's 208. And I also have my three-stage cooling system set up. Under speed, we ran this out at 40 millimeters per second, just because I wanted to run it out at 40 millimeters per second. So let's hit OK, and let's hit Prepare to Print, and I'll show you how it's sliced. And there's our real-time finished slice, and if I play this through, you can see this is a pretty basic print. And you're probably saying, why did you use so much infill? Well, I like my top layers to be very, very smooth, and especially on these areas where the bottles are gonna sit, I wanted that to be perfectly smooth. And sometimes with small amounts of infill, you get a little bit of drooping, even with only three top layers. So that's why I use 20%. And if we speed this up to the end, there's our finished print. So let's head over back to the workbench and let's talk about the print. All right, so you saw my settings in Simplify 3D, and here's our finished print. This is the nail polish bottle holder. And this guy turned out perfect. I don't have any problems with this whatsoever. All my surfaces are nice and clean. All the layer lines are perfect. This Matter Hackers Pro PLA in the color magenta was the perfect choice for a nail polish holder. And of course, my G-Max did an amazing job on this print. But I guess the real question is, how do the nail polish bottles fit within the holder? So let's check it out. Okay, so I just happen to have a bottle of nail polish handy. And what do you know, they fit perfectly. And this will be really good because it sits on a bit of an angle, like you can see here, and she can dip her brush in and wipe off the excess and do her nails. And we have a safe place for the bottle to sit so we don't get any spillage. Well, that about wraps it up for day 95 of the 3DP 365 project. I hope you found this episode interesting and informative. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you tomorrow.